Hey everyone, uh, my name's Kelvin and welcome to my video tutorial for Watercolor Typography Studio. Uh, this is an add-on for Photoshop that will allow you to create some custom watercolor typography. And uh, this is the first tutorial video, there's going to be several more. Uh, if you want to skip ahead to those other tutorials, just look in the description of this video and I'll post some links. Uh, but right now I'm just going to go through the basics. This is going to take like five minutes uh, and we're going to make this uh, happy birthday uh, greeting card here. So the first thing you'll do is unzip that folder you downloaded and inside you'll find uh, a couple different files here. Uh, this first one here is a folder with some more resources and uh, I'll go into that later on. Uh, the second file here, this is the uh, tutorial readme file. This will have some information about this add-on and it will also have my email address uh, just in case you want to send me an email, ask me any question, anything like that. Uh, this final file here, this is the Photoshop document so I'll drag that into Photoshop to open it up. So when you open up this uh, Photoshop document, it'll look just like this. Uh, now, in order to navigate the options in this add-on, you need to open the Layers panel. And you can do that by going to Window and then Layers. And uh, this first smart object here, this is where you place the design or the text. And this second one here is where you'll place the texture. Now, there's a few in there that are already included. Uh, and then also, there's 30 more bonus textures included in the download file for this add-on. But uh, we'll just work with the basics right now. So we'll drop our design file in here and uh, we need to open this smart object and to open it you have to double click this little page icon right there just like that and uh, it'll open up another document tab in Photoshop so here's the original one uh, we double clicked it we double clicked the smart object and then it opened up this new tab and it has this default kind of thank you message here and I can close that by clicking the little icon uh, it'll just uh, make it invisible and then I'll drag in my uh, design I've already made. Now all your designs, they have to be black and white. They can't be any grayscale, anything in between. It's just black and white. So we'll just drag this in there. And I'll scale it up to fill a little bit better there. Fill it in and enter. And I'll use the arrow tool to kind of center it. And once I'm happy with that and the size of it here, the scale, uh, I can save and close the smart object by uh, going up to the document tab and then clicking that little X and then Photoshop will ask if you want to save and then you'll click yes and uh, this effect might take a minute or so to load but for this video I'll just fast forward it so now our text has been added in and the effect has been applied uh, the next thing we can do is change the watercolor texture itself and uh, we can double click this smart object to open it up and uh, inside there's a handful of these default textures and uh, I'm just going to use these for this tutorial, but if you want to use the, the other ones that I included in this product, uh, just copy and paste them in. Uh, for, for this one, I think I just want to change it to the deep sea texture here. And uh, once it's got the right one highlighted, uh, just close and save the smart object. Just kind of X out of it. And when it asks if you want to save, just click yes. Uh, and then this effect will apply uh, usually a little bit faster than the other one, but I'll still fast forward it for this video. So the effect has been applied and uh, this looks pretty good, but I'd like to change the colors a little bit. And down here with these green highlighted folders, these are all basic options. Uh, and They'll change the colors a little bit, change the texture a little bit. Just make them visible uh, and it will apply the effect. So I want to add a paper texture. So I'll make the paper texture folder here visible. We'll zoom in here to get a closer look. You can see this texture here is a little bit light. I think I want to darken it up. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll select that paper texture folder and then I'll increase the opacity here to make it just a little bit stronger. Okay, that looks pretty good. And uh, I think I want it to be a little bit darker maybe, so we'll try that option. Okay, that looks good. A little bit too dark, so I'll select that folder and uh, lower the opacity just a little bit. There we go, that looks a little bit better. I'll zoom out here. So this would basically be done. This is just uh, the basic overview. I'll go into some of the more advanced options uh, in the next few videos. But uh, you can just export this for your project like you would anything else in Photoshop. You can just go to the Save for Web dialog. You can save it as a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, you can turn off this watercolor uh, paper texture background here. Just uh, turn off this last folder here. And uh, if you want to export this as a PNG with a transparent background, um, I actually made an action script for this that will cut out all the white. Uh, and you can load that action script from within the actions panel. And you can find that by going to Window, Actions. 
And uh, if you see any actions here, I recommend that you clear them. Uh, and then you can load actions uh, right here. And uh, just go back to the folder you downloaded. Uh, the actions are in the optional watercolor resources folder. And uh, it's this last one here, the remove white background action script. And I'll double click that. And uh, it's simple script. It's just this one here. Just click it and then press play. And uh, what it will do is it will um, copy everything, cut out the white, and uh, this way you can easily export it as a PNG with a transparent background and uh, use it in any of your other projects. So hopefully this is a good overview of the basics. Uh, I'm going to make a few more videos about how to modify the colors, modify some of the other options that this effect offers, uh, as well as add that kind of sparkling metallic gold effect. Just check the description of this video for a kind of an index of those videos. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.